What is up guys, Joe here back with another video. Today I wanted to cover how to lend within the Kava DeFi platform. So currently Kava is having a 50% APY surge event on Atom Lending. So what that means is simply for lending your coins within the Kava platform, you will earn a boosted APY while the coins remain locked in the ecosystem. The lending surge just started today with Atom Lending and they have other coins in the pipeline coming soon including UST Stablecoin, Luna, Osmo, and Akash. So the reason Kava is giving out boosted rewards is they want more users to begin using their platform and Kava is a layer 1 DeFi platform very similar to Compound, Aave, Uniswap. It's a bit of a hybrid between all three because on their platform you can actually pool, yield farm, you can swap, you can lend your coins and even borrow or mint their native USDX stablecoin. So today I wanted to cover a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to lend within the Kava platform. So let's get started. And just to give you an overview of what Kava is. So Kava is a Cosmos coin. And so roughly there are about 200 different chains within the Cosmos ecosystem. And each one has a different purpose. So some of these you may recognize Osmosis, Cosmos, Juna, Terra Luna, Crypto.com, the Kronos coin, Akash, Persistent, Kava, Iris, and Injective. So the bigger picture here is all of these coins are interoperable because they were written under the Cosmos code. So ideally, if you wanted to swap any of these coins, you can actually go under the Osmosis DEX and freely swap or convert any of these coins for each other. And I do have a separate video converting how to swap any of these coins natively within the Osmosis ecosystem and how to yield farm within their pool tab. So anyways, Kava has been gaining a lot of momentum lately and their total value lock has been increasing day by day. So I'm super bullish on the platform and they have a great roadmap ahead of them. So let's get started. The first thing is first, you wanna install the Kepler wallet. So I recommend either using Chrome or the Brave browser and you can visit their website, which is kepler.app and all you would simply do is install Kepler for Chrome. This will take you to the Chrome web store and and you can add it here, very straightforward. And so once you add it, the shortcut icon will be present on the toolbar up here on the top right corner, depicted by this K logo. And Kepler is a multi-chain wallet, so you have all the different Cosmos chains under this one wallet. So similar to MetaMask for Ethereum, under Kepler you can designate which blockchain you wanna use. So it defaults to Cosmos, and that's the example we'll be using today for this tutorial. Great, and as you can see, I do have a previous balance in there of some Atom I've used previously. But what we want to do is we want to buy and send some more Atom from Coinbase into the Kepler wallet. So I do recommend using Coinbase Pro being that their fees are much cheaper to buy coins. And if you already have a Coinbase account, they're easy to link. It's free to link both accounts. But if you're consistently purchasing coins, I recommend you stick with Coinbase Pro. So under the Atom page, you want to hit withdraw and select Atom. And this this would be the same under the regular Coinbase page. You would go to send and receive on the top right and you would enter the amount of Atom you want to send and under two, you would paste the Kepler wallet address. So under the wallet icon, your address is found right under your username. You would click it here and paste it here. Back to Coinbase Pro, select Atom, crypto address, and our destination will be the Kepler Cosmos wallet. So verify you're under the Cosmos blockchain copy the address down here go ahead and paste it use this address you do not need a memo to send it to the Kepler wallet so check this on this transaction does not require an atom memo and for amount we're gonna go ahead and choose 15 and as you can see there is an associated gas fee which is the network fee anytime you send a coin from one destination to another you do have to pay a gas fee so here it would be 0.002 atoms in order for this transaction to process and we're going to go ahead and hit withdrawal. You want to verify this transaction on Google Authenticator on my iPhone. And as you can see, my withdrawal has started. 
get done. Should only take a few seconds. And uh, let's go up here back to our Kepler wallet. And as you can see, our balance updated. We have an available amount of 15 whole atom. Amazing. So the next step would be to connect your Kepler wallet to the kava.io webpage. So the website would be kava.io. This is the homepage and click on launch app. And it's gonna go ahead and ask you to connect your Kepler wallet. And again, I recommend Kepler because it's a Cosmos wallet and it's a one-stop shop for any Cosmos coin. So in the future, if you wanted to swap Lend Yield Farm for any Cosmos token, it's all possible through the power of Kepler. And I especially recommend it if you use the Osmosis Dex to swap coins. So go ahead and click on Kepler. So once it's connected, it brings you to the balances page. And as you can see, I do have a previous balance of Kava tokens. You can ignore this. Your balance should say zero. So our next step would be to load the atom under the balances page. So now that we're under balances, let's locate Adam and go ahead and hit on load. And it's gonna request a connection to the Kepler wallet. Go ahead and approve. Now it's asking you to load the Adam and we're gonna go ahead and select max. And again, there is associated gas fees. So we started with 15 and we lost just a tiny bit due to gas fees. Go ahead, click load. Now you do get this window where it gives you the different gas options. You have low, average, and high. I always recommend low because if you're gonna be continuously swapping and lending and yield farming, these fees add up. Although low takes the slowest to approve transactions, you will save money in the long term. If you want an instantaneous transfer, you would select high, but again, the gas fee is higher. So let's go ahead and choose low, approve. So I do have a Ledger Nano device synced to my Kepler wallet. This is not necessary for you to do this process. This is an extra step I took for security so I can physically verify transactions. But again, this is not necessary for you to use the Kepler wallet. So when this window pops up, all you would simply do is hit next and approve. Success, now it's confirming the transaction. This will take a few seconds. Transaction was successful. And so now we can refresh the web page. And if you scroll lower, we do see that now we have 14.96 Atom loaded on the Kava platform. So now our next step would be to deposit Atom into the assets tab. You would click on the supply button. Back to Kava, let's navigate back to the top of the page and navigate to Lend. And as you can see, we have zero supplied yet. That's gonna change in a minute. So our first option is Atom and the Supply Reward APY here is 45%. So when this boosted surge event began, the reward payout was at 1700. But as you can see, as more users join the pool, there's less rewards to be shared and distributed. So now we're between 30 million and 40 million total value locked in the pool. So we're roughly hovering around the 50% reward payout rate. And this is just the way pools work. The more people in the pool, the less rewards everyone gets. And judging by this graph, as you can see, the more total value locked is in the pool, the rewards begin to fall off. So let's go ahead and click on supply and we're gonna hit max. And again, the rewards are paid out in both the Kava token and the hard token. And go ahead and hit supply. For gas fee, we're gonna choose low. The transaction was confirmed. And as you can see, our supply has updated. We've supplied 14.96 which equates to roughly $444 market value. And our net APY is 45.21%. And keep in mind the rewards are paid out in the native Kava and hard token. You are not paid out in Atom token, you are paid out in Kava and hard. But the good thing is when you claim your rewards, you can swap those tokens for USDX or Kava or some of the other coins available in the protocol. And we'll cover that in a minute. And let me just say the good thing about lending, lending, there is no real risk. Your original capital is always preserved. You don't lose the original amount ever. You're only paid out rewards. There is no impermanent loss here because this is a single asset lending pool. This is a bit different from yield farming where you do get impermanent loss. This is not that. Great, and that's it. So now our next step is claiming rewards. Rewards are paid out twice a month in hard and Kava tokens. 
So once you've received the rewards, you have to decide what do I want to do with these new coins. And in order to claim rewards, again under the Lend page, you would scroll towards the bottom and you would have here an unclaimed balance section. So over here you would click on claim and as you can see I've already started accumulating Kava and Hard and it's updating in real time. So we hit claim. So you have two options here. You choose the 12 month vested period which is incentivized and you do get an extra 500% hard rewards and an extra 500% cover rewards or you choose the one month and this is very low payment as you can see not incentivized not boosted so one month is a one month locking period and 12 month is a one year locking period. And the reason they do this is if you choose the 12 month, they're incentivizing you to keep your coins in their platform to attract more users. They don't want people coming in and starting to pump and dump their token. They want to reward investors for remaining inside their platform. So for you as a long term investor, I would recommend you stick with the 12 month plan. And here you can start to claim your rewards once you start receiving them. I am super bullish on Kava and everything they're doing and this Atom Lend program is just the beginning. And like I mentioned earlier, once this Atom Surge is finished and this will last roughly 30 to 90 days, after that they'll have a UST stablecoin event followed by a Luna event, followed by Osmo, followed by Osmo, and lastly Akash. So they're really wanting for users to stick within their platform and remain loyal. So best option for you, higher rewards, stick with the 12 months and hit claim. So once you claim your rewards, you have two options, either contribute to a pool within the swap page, or you can actually convert your coins to Kaba for staking. So let's go ahead and look at the pool page. So back to the top of the page here and you would click on pools. And I do have previously a pool I've contributed to, so disregard this pool. But you do have the option of contributing to the Kava USDX pool. That reward APY is 164%. Or the hard and USDX pool, which has a payout of 209%. And if you're wondering what USDX is, that's the native stablecoin to the Kava platform. And a stablecoin will always remain its value of one whole dollar. The idea is for the peg of the value to always remain at one dollar. So for example if we're paid out in hard all we would do is hit add here and you can add to the pool liquidity you would choose hard and you do need the other pair which is the USDX pair. Remember pools are a 50 50 ratio you need equal value of both coins for the pool to work so how do you get any usdx all you would do is go to swap and let's say you have your hard token in your claim section so you would convert some hard into usdx same goes for kava say you have kava rewards under swap you would just swap some for usdx great and then finally when you're ready to contribute to the pool you go to liquidity here and you can choose the pair hard and usdx or you can do the kava and usdx but if you want to look at this differently just go ahead and click on pools and it's the same idea here kava usdx you would hit add or go back into pools hard and usdx you would hit add great and just remember these pools are prone to impermanent loss and if you don't know what impermanent loss is it's basically just a price fluctuation but the risk is minor the reward payouts are great and actually the benefit of these rewards outweigh the risk of impermanent loss anything that's 100% or higher even 200% is a great incentive to you so lastly our other option if you do not want to contribute to a pool you can convert it to Kava and stake it within Kepler. So once you claim your rewards here, your Kava rewards, it should automatically update within your Kepler wallet up here. You would just have to toggle into the Kava network and it'll show you your total amount of available Kava. But if for some reason you don't see it in your Kava wallet address, you can also go to balances and under Kava, you can send it to the Kepler wallet. Here. But like I said, it should auto update and show your balance here. And so if you want to stake the Kava token within this window, 
You can see there's a stake section and you can earn up to 33% APR on Cabo Staking. You would hit the stake button. It takes you to the Kepler webpage. And from here, you'll pick a delegator and you would delegate your Kava tokens for staking. I don't recommend you use any of the top 10 validators. Usually they're oversubscribed and they have high fees. So you want to choose something out of the top 10. And I do know a popular one is Citadel One. They're a popular validator. So they have a 5% commission fee and we hit manage here, hit delegate. And from here, you can choose the amount to delegate to the wallet and hit delegate and that'll begin staking. And from there, you can keep your Kava rewards and you can choose to do whatever you want with them. If you ever wanted to cash out, you can send the Kava to a centralized exchange such as Kraken or Crypto.com and you can always convert the Kava into Fiat or USDC. So there you have it, a complete guide on how to lend within the Kava platform. It's pretty straightforward. It's an easy platform to use. I do recommend this system over some of the other popular DeFi protocols like Aave or Uniswap, which have huge Ethereum gas fees. Cosmos is a growing ecosystem and they have a ton of updates coming in the new year. Super bullish on the Cosmos ecosystem. So let me know what you think about Kava. Are you a fan of their platform? What do you think about their surge event? Let me know in the comment section. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.